It is high noon on February 3, 2011, in the Thursday edition of the Daily Journal is upon the streets. Mike Fry here with Nicole Leonhardt. And Nicole, this historic blizzard of 2011 has passed through the Midwest, but most certainly left its mark. Yes, it has. There is so much snow. Um, they're starting to clear out my street a little bit more, and it's just piling up on our lawns. It's crazy. It's something else out there. Of course, uh, highway officials from uh, Kanki, Iroquois, Will County's even the state of Illinois report that roads are returning to normal. It should be there by the end of the day. Well, all roads passable. However, I don't know if you consider single-digit temperatures with wind chills below zero normal. That's the other part of what's coming here. No, not really. And it is very cold out there, and it's going to get worse, and that's not good. I have no scientific uh, evidence to support this, Nicole, but it always seems to me you get a major snowstorm a foot or so, and then the temperature plummets to zero. Why doesn't it go in the other direction to like 60 and it all melt right away? I never have seen that happen, to my knowledge. It would be nice. We could really use some of that snow to melt away. Oh, so yeah, that okay. would be great if that happened. Unfortunately... Not the case, like you said. Nicole, about this time last month, the Daily Journal uh, announced its Citizens of the Year, and one of them was Adam Kinzinger, the U.S. Representative from Mantino, the Republican name is the Young Citizen of the Year, persons under 40, and he came by the Daily Journal today to pick up his honor, and you were there. I was there. Um, Phil Angelo presented him with his award, very nice, and we have a video of that, so let's go to that. Daily Journal, I'd like to congratulate you for being our young citizen of the year. Well, thank you. Uh, we appreciate all you've done so far and continue to wish you well in Washington, D.C. Well, thank you. and Thanks for your community involvement. And I appreciate this honor. All right. So that was Adam Kinzinger getting his Young Citizen of the Year Award. And now Dennis Yonke has our very cold forecast. Hi, this is Dennis Yonke, the writer and columnist here at the Daily Journal. I'm in the weather office today because outside, well, that just brought me a lot of mockery and we'll get to that later. Today's high is only going to be 17, with a low of 1. will be sunny, though. Tomorrow we'll have a high of 24 and a low of 14, with partly sunny skies. Saturday we'll get up to 30 and a low of 23, and maybe a chance of a snow shower. Now about yesterday, uh, there have been a few comments uh, emailed to me, phone calls, suggesting that I never do anything as stupid as throwing myself in a snowbank and then illustrating that I can't get up. As a matter of fact, there was one caller who suggested that maybe I should get one of those life alert things because I've fallen and I can't get up. Well, uh, to all of you, you haven't tried to get out of snow like that. When you put your hand down, it goes down another six inches. And it was it's tough, trust me. I'm not that pathetic outdoors. Um, and by the way, I am wearing a little green and gold today just to appease those who think I... I failed in my prediction. I really think I was much closer than the people who said two feet. But anyway, uh, let's get back to the newsroom and enough of my whining. Mike, we're back. It's Thursday. It's a Mike's Mailbag Day again. And Jim from Bonfield wants to know, with your uh, disdain for winter, everyone knows you hate winter, you hate snow. Was there anything about the blizzard you liked? Actually, there was one thing, believe it or not, Nicole, let me describe it to you, okay? But I was snowed in yesterday, I'm embarrassing to say so, yeah, but snowed in. So about 10 o'clock yesterday morning, I look out in the backyard, and a collection of cardinals and blue jays had assembled. I thought, cool. So I immediately go to the bread box and get out uh, four slices of just expired Wonder Bread and throw them out there like a Frisbee. And then I go back in and look, I'm looking out the window, and those birds are hanging out. Even though the neighbors run on the snow plow, they're hanging out. They want that bread. Well, a little bit later, here come these crows, and they don't care about that snow plow running. They just go right down and start swooping on that bread and eating it up. So this lone blue jay saw that, and he or she swooped in among these blackbirds, got a crust, and took off before very they could nice. get it all. Hey, it just thrilled me. It was uh, an exciting sight to see. Very, very nice. What is up with these birds? We had a caller call in, I want to say, uh, Tuesday as the storm was starting, saying there's a bunch of robins. Birds everywhere. It's weird. Birds everywhere. Yes. Bill Burns knows some things about that. Perhaps you can read more about it on our outdoors page tomorrow. So keep it up. Hey, it's uh, whether there are lifeless time out there, you know, there's no leaves in the trees. And that's what, what life does go on and animal life goes on. So you see the birds, you see the cardinals, the woodpeckers, the blue jays, the robins, you'll see the squirrels. So yeah, life goes on and, and I guess that's one thing that encouraged me this year, time of year. I see the life going on so I know spring will be not too far behind us. And the us. snow has to fall three times on the robin before spring, right? Has anyone heard that? Have you heard that old adage? I just heard it for the first time. All I'll right. check that out. Okay. Well, it came from my parents, and sometimes their adages are a little off. Okay. So. Well, we'll find out. 
Alright. Well, that'll do it for the news at noon, right? That'll indeed do it for the news at noon. You can subscribe to the Daily Journal by calling 815 937 3322. You can also pick it up on the newsstand. So until tomorrow, stay informed and stay out of the snow. Five minutes of quiet. Three, two.